I was wandering around downtown Cincinnati a few weeks ago and I found this placard and I wanted to share it here. It's really cool. Um, and just for our whereabouts, in between this forefront uh, brick and um, concrete slab building here, and then also the uh, all glass high rise here on the right, you'll actually see Great American Ballpark uh, in the background. And that is where the Cincinnati Reds play. That is on the banks of the Ohio River. Uh, in Cincinnati, in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. So I'll not say anything for a few seconds here and let you uh, pause the screen here to read this. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to read that, it's really, really interesting, really cool to see uh, something like this um, dating all the way back to 1789. And, uh, and they just found it in 1953, if I'm reading that correctly. Now, what's uh, so that that in and of itself is really cool. I love the historical element to that. The, uh, you know, the fact that you know what was being housed here helped um, you know migrate Americans into the West, and that's why uh, really this area is called the Midwest uh, is is for this exact reason with the Louisiana Purchase and whatnot. But at any rate, I thought also what was kind of interesting is. Do you think, had this been written in 2023, that it would say what it says today? And what I mean by that is the last sentence that says, which broke the Indian resistance and opened the Northwest Territory to peaceful American settlement. And, uh, you know, this is 1953 that they wrote this, and boy, sure how, how, how things have changed since then. Do you think it would be written that way? Uh, were it written in 2023. It's very, very interesting to see it written that way. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye.